We'll get ready. If you need your funny bone tickled this morning, we have just the thing for you. Comedian Paul Mercurio is joining us. You're here in Charm City. Yes. At the um, at Baltimore Comedy Factory and tonight and tomorrow. Tonight, well, I was been here since Thursday, but I got two shows tonight, seven and so nine. So we can still week. catch you. Yeah, you got to come out. The whole you know? crew's got to come out. We got to do weather. We'll do weather right on the stage. <laughs> that'll make it. That'll make it really interesting. <laughs> What's really interesting about your comedy yeah. is you were in a turning. Yeah, I know everybody. Does now that's that funny like, in itself. Right, I'm I sure know. you have a lot of inside jokes no, on that. But yeah, how does exactly. That I, yeah, I did. I uh, I went to law school in D.C. I ended up in New York. I was doing corporate law, and I started writing jokes as a hobby. Sold some to Jay Leno. He did a couple of them on the Tonight Show. That's encouraging. Yeah, and it totally sucked me in and blew me away. And um, I basically um, just was like, and people always like, well, did you know you were going to be a comedian? Were you funny as a lawyer? I'm like, yeah, I was always the funniest lawyer in my law firm, which is kind of like being the sexiest IT guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, people, and my family didn't understand. I right. grew up in Rhode Island, Italian Catholic family. They're like, and you went to school, you're in law, you did it. you're doing my, the yeah, right thing. You know, my father yeah. put floors in for a living, blue collar guys, like, you did it, you made it, what are you doing? And, and, but when you think Italian, you think of like plastic on the furniture, right, super neat house. Right, you know? right, no. That wasn't our house growing up. No. It was really messy. It was really, really bad because our, my mother had a furniture store and that was the focus of our lives. This is how bad the house was. This is a true story. Someone broke into the house, they took the stereo. They didn't touch another <laughs> thing in the house, right? Well, now that's one's method to right, protect exactly. your property, exactly. right? Right, They come in, they come out, they touch it. They didn't touch another thing in the house. Uh, a cop comes over to take a police report, stands in the living room and goes, oh my God, what kind of an animal would make a mess like this? And he thought the guy broke in and ransacked the house. You didn't know it was like that before. It was just the way it it's always been. And yeah. your mother likes that you're telling this joke? Oh, well, you know, she can't, she's asleep right now, so she doesn't know. <laughs> so but, you also have a family? Yeah, okay. I'm married. I'm mar my wife and I have been married 13 years. We dated 12 years before we got married. Just to make sure. Yeah, exactly. I had to, well, she proposed, finally. Um, I can't tell you her exact words because I get, like, really emotional. <laughs> but they ended with, or get off the pot and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we have a, we have a, can I show you what my son real yes, quick gave me? Yes, yes, yes. Before I left. We're about to have a time, but daddy, I want to see. Luck, what did daddy right? say? And he gave me his favorite dinosaur. Aww. Isn't that cute? Yeah, he's 15. But don't <laughs> judge, people. Do not judge. You know, um, dinosaurs are important, even at 15. I know, exactly. Know. I know. Paul, thank you for joining us. Yeah. So again, two more shows yet tonight. Yeah, I got two shows tonight. Baltimore Comedy Factory at the Power Plant, 7 and 9.15. Come on out. You're going to come. The we'll whole crew's there. coming. We're there. We're, We're getting out. a bus. Dinosaur, We're making a road trip. Dinosaurs for everybody. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And of course, you want to learn more about Paul's show tonight, head to foxbaltimore.com slash morning.